friends, welcome back to another video. I just got a new set of paints. This is the Holbein, I think it's called Iro, yeah, Irodori gouache. And these are my favorite, out of all the paints I've tried, these are my favorite paints of all time. And so I bought the summer set. I previously had the spring set, which I have been absolutely loving. I've been using it for everything, but I wanted to try out the summer set for another fox painting for the summer edition. I'm doing one fox for each season as just like a little experiment with painting. And so let's unbox these, do some color swatching and potentially paint a painting on camera. We'll see how that goes. All right. See you in a minute. So I swatched out all of these beautiful new paint colors. I love this palette. It's not the colors that I usually gravitate to. These are definitely more in the primary zone when it comes to colors and I tend to work more in the pastel area, but these are beautiful and I can see why these are perfect for a summer color palette. And I think it's gonna be really fun to put them together for this cute little fox painting that I have here. I sketched this out in my sketchbook and decided I wanted to make it a full-size painting so then I re-sketched it on a piece of Bristol paper. That's the paper that I prefer to paint on. It's super smooth and thick, uh, thicker paper. Not as thick as like maybe a really hardcore watercolor paper but uh, pretty thick as far as a smooth paper goes. I loved the way that the paints laid down on the paper it was just beautiful. I used a little bit more water with the green on the background just to, I wanted it to be a little bit more streaky, streaky, streaky to have more texture. And yeah, it was beautiful. I ended up painting this over the course of three separate days. I took my time with it. I've been seeing come up a lot just questions I've seen people asking around me or I've asked been asking me specifically is how to find your art style and I have two um, two things to say about finding your art style number one one thing that I found really helpful when I was starting out with trying to become a professional illustrator to try and illustrate for a career was gathering all of my favorite artists. I've pulled up all of my favorite artists' Instagrams and looked at their work collectively. And I went through each artist and I found one thing about their work that I really loved. Like what is the one thing about their work that really draws me to it? And then I would add that to my repertoire. I would be like, what can I, how can I incorporate that into my own work? And I would do that for each artist. I would find one thing, not their entire art style, one thing that really, I really loved and um, add that into my own drawing techniques and practicing with it in my sketchbook. Um, which brings me to the second point, which is finding your art style really just comes down to doing a lot of art 
like making as much art as you can, making art every day, experimenting all of the time, and just drawing and drawing and drawing and drawing. <laughs> and I know that probably sounds really frustrating because you want to figure out what your style is immediately. You don't want to wait. You don't have to work forever to figure out what that is, but that really is how you find your art style. I know when I was starting out and I was frustrated with what is my style, how um, how am I going to make art and um, show up you know, in this world as art that is recognizable as my art. And it was frustrating for a while, but I just kept going at it, kept being creative. I still um, posted things and uh, sold things in my shop. And just eventually it got to a point where I had a very distinctive art style. It just came. I don't, I can't even tell you when it came because it's just so gradual, but it just happened. And I mean, that's my best advice for you is to Find some artists that you really love, go through their work, figure out one thing from each artist that you would really love to incorporate into your own art style, practice those things, but then also just overall make a crap ton of art. That's really all you can do. The more art you make, the more close you're going to get to finding your art style and make bad art. Don't be afraid to make art that's bad. Even the pros, even the people that um, you know seem like they've got it all together they make bad art all the time I guarantee you so don't be afraid to make bad art you have to make bad art to get to the good art This little fox guy is almost complete. I'm going to go ahead and leave you here. Thank you so much for um, hanging out with me during this video and trying out these new paints and painting this adorable fox painting. Please take a look at my Patreon if you're interested in joining us over there this month. Our theme is uh, Beatrix Potter inspired artwork, which has been really fun. And yeah, I would love to see you there. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.